What's up you guys? It's your girl Sheena and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, tuturoan namin kayo ng different techniques used in dentistry. But before that, we would like to thank Doc Ralph Lazigi for giving us this opportunity. Thank you Doc. Kasi pangarap talaga namin maging vlogistician. <laughs> Hindi lang namin magawa kasi wala kaming kwentang tao. Okay, thank you Doc. <laughs> Okay, sa mga broken-hearted dyan, sa mga iniwan ng jowa nila, yung mga pinakilig lang, pero hindi ginawa. Turuan namin kayo paano maging manhead. Kaya stay tuned para sa inyo to. papahitam na namin sa inyo yung armamentariums needed. Ang pinaka-importante sa lahat ay ang ating aspirating syringe. Ito ang itura niya. <laughs> Bakit aspirating syringe? Okay, so aspirating syringe ang nga nagagahil. Ano? <laughs> Kaya na mahala. <laughs> okay, so guys, uh, syempre gusto ko rin bumalik kasi pangarap ko din. Ano, ikaw lang pwede gumawa. Dapat ako din. Sige, ikaw na. Yan lang ah, yan lang ang gagamitin. So, ito. Ayan, ito pa rin. So, aspirating syringe yung ginagamit sa pag-inject ng local anesthesia. Kasi, with this, pwede natin malaman kung blood vessel ba or nerve yung tinatamaan natin. So, kapag ready na tayo mag-deposit, before we deposit, we always aspirate. So, kapag blood yung nakita natin, obviously, blood vessel yung tinatamaan natin. So, we have to redirect and then aspirate again. Kapag wala nang blood, then ready na tayo mag-deposit. So, load naman ay ang ating dental cartridge. Ito yung itsura niya, guys. So, ang isang cartridge, it contains 1.8 ml. So, this one, ang na-require sa amin is 2% lidocaine. With 1 is to 100,000 epinephrine. Okay, ang sunod ay ang ating dental needles. Ito ang itsura niya, guys. Ayan, meron tayong long. Meron din tayong short. Ano ba ang uses ng ating needle? Kung bakit merong long, bakit may short? So, we have long and short needles depending dun sa injection site. So, for example, we use short needle for local infiltration, for Emson block, for Pisan block, for Nisopalatin block, GPN block. For long needle naman, for um, injection site na mas malalim. So, normally kasi kung long needle yung ginamit natin, like for Mason block or the uh, iron block and uh, maxillary block. So, halos 3 part ng needle yung kailangan natin ipasok para ma-reach natin yung mga nerve na yun. And it is used for wider areas that, is, that are needed to be anesthetized. Sunod ay ang ating topical anesthesia. Ito yung ginagamit natin. So, for topical anesthesia, we use um, benzocaine. Benzocaine is the best um, topical anesthesia. And what we do here is we use the cotton applicator. So, mag-dip lang kami ng small amount lang. And then, ipapahit dun sa area, sa may bandang mucobacal fold ng areas na kailangan i-anesthesize. So, we wait for uh, 5 minutes bago kami mag -inject. Reminder lang. So, uh, before doing any blocking technique, 
make sure na alam natin lahat kung paano paggamit ng materials. Make sure na sterilize yung mga materials na gagamitin natin sa patient. And um, yung pag-inject, make sure, yun nga, remind namin, make sure to aspirate. Kasi if not, it will cause systemic toxicity. Di ba? Yeah. And, um, ayun, kailangan alam marunong tayo ng tamang pag-engage ng mental cartridge, tamang needle, tama, alamin natin yung mga landmark, gano'ng kadami yung dapat i-deposit dun sa area, and mag-review tayo. Mag-review? Uh, huwag nyo kaming gayahin. Basta tayo. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with maxillary intraoral injection techniques with uh, local infiltration. Local infiltration is frequently used in maxillary teeth. Nerves anesthetized are the large terminal branches of the dental plexus. It is indicated for palpal anesthesia of the maxillary teeth that is limited to one or two teeth lang. Technique, area of insertion, height of the mucobuccal fold above the apex of the tooth being anesthetized, landmarks, mucobuccal fold, crown of the tooth, root contour of the tooth. Orientation of the bevel towards the bone. Short needle is needed for this technique. For piece and block, the nerves anesthetized is the posterior superior alveolar nerve. And the areas anesthetized are the maxillary first, second, and third molar, except the mesobuccal root of the first molar, as well as buccal periodontium and bone underlying those. For piece and block, the landmarks would be the mucobuccal fold, maxillary tuberosity, zygomatic process of the maxilla, infratemporal space of the maxilla, an anterior border, and coronoid process of the ramus of the mandible. Technique. Short needle would be recommended such as 27 gauge short needle. Area of insertion is the height of the mucobuccal fold above the maxillary second molar. Orientation of the bevel is towards the bone. Advance the needle slowly, upward, inward, and backward direction in one motion. Upward is a 45 degree angle to the occlusal plane. Inward would be medially toward the midline at a 45 degree angle to the occlusal plane. And backward at 45 degree posteriorly following the long axis of second molar, aspirate and deposit. For middle superior alveolar nerve block, the nerves anesthetized is the middle superior alveolar nerve, while the ears anesthetized are pulps of the first and second premolars and the first and the mesobuccal root of the first molar, as well as the buccal periodontal tissues bones over, overlying the teeth. For m -san, the landmarks would be mucobuccal fold between two premolars. Technique. Use a short needle. The area of insertion is the height of the mucobuccal fold above the maxillary second premolar. Target area would be maxillary bone above the apex of the maxillary second premolar. And orientation of the bevel is towards the bone. Once there is bone contact, retract a little, then aspirate and deposit. So for ASAN block or the inferior orbital nerve block, it is indicated if yung dental procedure involves more than two maxillary anterior teeth. So, nerve to be anesthetized, the anterior superior alveolar nerve, the middle superior alveolar nerve, the inferior orbital nerve. Under inferior orbital nerve, we have lateral nasal, the superior labial, and the inferior palpebral. When doing ASAN block or the ion block, there are two approach intraorally. First is the central incisor approach, and next is the first bicuspid approach. In this video, we did the ASAN block first bicuspid approach. The needle should be parallel to the supraorbital notch, pupil of the eye, and first bicuspid. Always remember to insert three-fourths of the long needle to avoid injury to the orbital area. Landmarks, mucobuccal fold, infraorbital notch, infraorbital foramen, pupil of the eye, supraorbital notch, central incisor, and maxillary first bicuspid. Technique, palpate the infraorbital foramen. Applying pressure causes mild soreness on the patient. Long needle is recommended. Point of contact should be the upper rim of infraorbital foramen. Once there is a bone contact, aspirate and then deposit slowly. 
For greater palatine nerve block, it is useful for dental procedures involving the palatal soft tissues of the posterior teeth. Its other common name is the anterior palatine nerve block. Um, nerves to be anesthetized is the greater palatine nerve. The technique for greater palatine nerve block, short needle is recommended. Area of insertion, soft tissue slightly anterior to the greater palatine foramen. It is between the first and second molar. Target area, greater palatine nerve as it passes anteriorly between the soft tissues and the bone of the hard palate. Landmarks, greater palatine foramen, junction of the maxillary alveolar process and palatine bone. Palatal gingival margin of the maxillary second and third molar, midline of the palate. Technique, palpate the greater palatine foramen using a cotton applicator. Imagine a line from the gingival margin of the maxillary first and second molar perpendicular to the mid palatine suture. Divide the line into three. Two thirds of that line is the point of, of puncture and it is usually anterior to the greater palatine foramen. And then aspirate and then deposit slowly. For the nasopalatine nerve block, it is a wide area of palatal soft tissue anesthesia is achieved, thereby minimizing the need for multiple palatal injection. It is highly traumatic or painful injection. The nerves to be anesthetized is the nasopalatine nerves and the areas to be anesthetized are the interior portion of the palate from the canine to canine. For nasopalatine nerve block technique, a short needle is recommended. For the area of insertion, we have palatal mucosa just lateral to the incisive papilla. For the target area, we have incisive foramen beneath the incisive papilla, and the landmarks are central incisors and incisive papilla. For technique, we have first, second, and third injection. For the first injection, we do an infiltration into the labial frenum. For the second injection, the needle is held at a right angle to the interdental papilla. And for the third injection, the needle is held at a 45 degree angle to the incisive papilla. For the maxillary nerve block, the nerves anesthetized is the entire maxillary nerve and its subdivisions. For the areas anesthetized, it's the maxillary tip on the affected side, the alveolar bone and its overlying structures, the upper lip, the cheek, the side of the nose, and the lower eyelid, and lastly, the hard palate and the remaining soft tissues. The landmarks for maxillary nerve block for high tuberosity technique, it's the same as for the peace and block. And for the greater palatine canal technique, it's the same as greater palatine nerve block. For high tuberosity technique, long needle is recommended. Area of insertion is at the height of the mucobuccal fold above the distal aspect of the maxillary second molar. For greater palatine canal approach, long needle is also recommended. Area of insertion is at the palatal soft tissue directly over the greater palatine foramen. You locate the greater palatine foramen, it do a local infiltration in the area, enter the foramen, advance the needle up to 30 mm, aspirate, and then deposit. Um, Ian block, or also known as mandibular block. Um, it is indicated for procedures on mandibular teeth on one pageant and um, is um, also indicated for uh, no, um, procedures where buccal and lingual soft tissues um, anesthesia are necessary. Um, the nerves anesthetized are the uh, inferior alveolar nerve, mental nerve, incisive nerve, and lingual nerve. In inferior alveolar nerve block, the landmarks are coronoid notch, external oblique ridge, pterygomandibular raphe, and the occlusal plane of mandibular posterior teeth. The point of insertion is the mucous membrane on the medial side of the mandibular ramus at the intersection of two lines, one horizontal line representing the height of injection on the other vertical um, representing the anteroposterior plane of injection. The target area is Ian as it passes down towards the mandibular foramen but before it enters the foramen.
technique um, long needle is used the mouth should be wide open and locate the needle penetration long buccal nerve block or buccal nerve block um, buccal nerve is the um, branch of anterior v3 and is not anesthetized during um, inferior alveolar nerve block um, it is indicated when um, buccal soft tissue anesthesia is necessary for dental procedures on mandibular molar region. Nerves anesthetized is um, long buccal nerve. Long needle is recommended since this technique is usually done after doing an EN block or the in inferior alveolar nerve block. Area of insertion is the mucous membrane, distal and buccal to the most distal molar tooth in the arch. Target area is the buccal nerve as it passes over the anterior border of the ramus. For mental nerve block, the nerve anesthetized is the metal nerve and the areas anesthetized are the buccal mucous membrane anterior to the mental foramen to the midline and the skin of the lower lip region. For mental nerve block, landmarks would be mandibular, premolars, and mucobuccal fold. Technique, locate the mental foramen. With your index finger or thumb, pull the lower lip and buccal soft tissues laterally. Orient the syringe with the bevel directed toward bone. Penetrate the mucous membrane and advance the needle until foramen is reached, but not necessarily going inside the foramen. Aspirate and deposit. For incisive nerve block, Nerve anesthetized would be mental and incisive, while areas anesthetized would be buccal mucous membrane, anterior to mental foramen to the midline, skin of lower lip and chin, and palpal nerve fibers of canine incisors and sometimes premolars. Incisive nerve block. The landmarks are mandibular premolars and mucobuccal fold. Technique. Use a short needle. Area of insertion would be at the mucobuccal fold at or just anterior to the mental foramen. Target area is mental foramen, through which the mental nerve exits and inside of which the incisive nerve is located. So that's it! Tapos na namin um, ipakita sa inyo yung different intraoral injection techniques. We hope na nagustuhan nyo lahat and um, mandami kayo natutunan. Um, Kung madami, may, kung may mga tanong pa kayo, please comment down below and we'll make sure to answer everything sa abot ng aming makakaya. And, and don't forget to give our video a thumbs up kung nagustuhan nyo. At kung hindi naman, give it a thumbs up pa din. Bala kayo dyan. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. Um, and to keep you updated kung meron mga kaming future videos. Ayan. Um, um, see you on our next video. Bye! <laughs>